Ladies and gentlemen, we've got our second last performer here tonight. Please put your hands together and give a big warm welcome to Lainey. <laughs> the token woman talking about vaginas. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, one in every crowd and I'm me. Hi. Labia. Thank you very much. Labia, labia. Say that ten times fast. Fuck me. Labia, labia. But it sounds really good. Does everyone know what a labia is? It's not a rock band from the 70s. It's um... Oh, with the word plasty at the end of it, it's called labiaplasty and it has a huge meaning. It's um, plastic surgery of the vagina. They've finally come, they've finally brought it to town. Can you imagine the, uh, the plastic surgeon convention when they're going, fuck I'm bored of doing tits. <laughs> Fucking over doing lips. Fuck it. What's next? What can we do? Neville, got any ideas? Cock implantation. No, we've done that. Fuck, what else? Oh, vaginas! Fuck it! That's what we should do. Okay, Neville, you're on to marketing. Put on, recall all the milk cartons and put on the sides, push flaps to open. Okay, we'll get it out there. <laughs> we'll start it that way. Good on you, Neville. <coughs> For me, the labia has a purpose. Oh, I'm actually dressed like a labia tonight. Can I just... <laughs> For me, the labia has a purpose. It's um, it, it hides the temple of doom, the lost ark. You know, you can't just go, fucking, there's the goods. Um, they're like, the flaps are like bouncers at a nightclub. You know, <laughs> if you can't get in, then there's a fucking reason. All right? Too short, too fat, too skinny, fucking too pissed, or not black enough. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, lab is. They're good fun. Uh, it should be like past the parcel, you know, unwrapping it slowly, bit by bit, and then you get the prize at the end, not like a piñata where you go, fuck it. <laughs> so, um, this thing is fucking me off. It's the first time I've ever done it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh... Um, what are these women thinking? What the fuck are these women thinking? Maybe the, the Jewish women that get it are going, Oy vey, the Messiah, he has to be there. He has to be there. There's no one else. There's nowhere else. Where is he? Or perhaps the missing car keys are there. The uh, missing sock. Or maybe, I work in a fruit shop and this is a doozy. I get asked 84 times a week where the fucking ripe avocados are. <laughs> Hang on, I'll let... <laughs> fucking hell, there's one. Another one. <laughs> Is it the men that are wanting this? Can you imagine? Oh yeah, love. Yeah, I'll give you some loving down there. But can you push those fucking things back? They're hard work. <laughs> I'm watching me show the biggest boozer. Or perhaps the phone call from work. Love, Elvis is coming home, honey. Yep, yep, yep. Make sure those clammy looking things are back and uh, get the head trimmers out on your pubes. Fuck, and you'll get what you want. <laughs> but all these tradies, all these wonderful tradies out there haven't thought of the, um, the string or the, the little attachment they could put a button there that just pushes the bifolds back, you know? Or those old concertina curtains, you know? Just pull the string. There you go. That's the light in the room. It's like that. Why go straight for surgery? <laughs> Don't understand. Uh, okay, what's next? Howie, you got any ideas? <laughs> oh, dear me. Hang on. Turn <laughs> Next bit's a fucking doozy. Hang on. <laughs> follow this one. <laughs> so, why are perfectly formed middle class women subdividing their maps of Tassie? Anyone? Really? Anyone? 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 Down? No. No ideas. Um, yeah, I blame the Brazilian, personally. I blame the Brazilian. It's politicians talk. I blame the Brazilian. 
Why? Because when you couldn't see it, no one gave a fuck. Is that right? No one thought of going to the pube hairdresser and just going for the Farrah Fawcett, did they? To make it easier? Remember Farrah Fawcett's little flicks? <laughs> or perhaps the, um, the religious Jew, just put a little hat on it. There's little fucking signs down there. Or, what else? The receding hairline for the more mature vaginas. <laughs> no one thought of that. Oh, dickheads. <laughs> Be less expensive. Uh, so, porn, I think, is one of the reasons that um, there's 65%, it's gone up 65% the interest in ladies having surgery on their vaginas. Um, so, is it porn? It might be porn. Uh, it's not like you can go into a supermarket and go down the aisles and go, fuck, that's a home brand. I might get that one. Two for one. Nah, I can't afford it. What other vaginas here? Fuck, fuck, that one's on special. Yeah, no, we can't. We don't. It's not out there like guys. You can't just compare your, you know, vagina. Um, but anyway, even if we were happy with our vaginas, women are very, very shit ass at taking compliments. So you are, if you're dressed in a dress and you walk down the street and someone goes, "Wow, that's a nice, that's a nice dress," and you fucking launch into this story about. Where you got the dress from? No one gives a fuck, but you still launch into it because you're a bit shy, you know. Oh, the dress, yeah, it was my mum's in the 60s. She was, um, she was, I don't know, some sort of PA to someone, and uh, yeah, it's really nice. Um, or your necklace is wonderful. Where the fuck did you get it? Vinnie's. Vinnie's in, um, Vinnie's in Orange. There's a town out in New South Wales, Orange. Vinnie's there. It was a bargain. But I find myself doing that. I take the piss out of it, but I find myself doing it a lot. And um, this is a doozy. Someone came into work the other day, into the fruit shop, and I couldn't hold back. And they went, Lainey, I fucking love that belt. And I went, well, when I was a dime store hooker, this guy used to bend me over the table and fucking whip me with his wife's belt, call me a slut, then go down on me for hours. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> Look big in this. <laughs> big hand for Lainey. If you are in Mullen Baby weekdays, you can catch Lainey in the green grocers. Um, <laughs> Just go to the say, is that Flaps girl here? <laughs> the labia, the labia girl with the ripe avocado. Um, you're going to have everyone coming in to see, you know, I saw you. They'll go, I saw, because you become a bit of a star afterwards. You go, yeah, they'll go, oh, I saw you at that show. <laughs> They'll go in and get their ripe avocado. They want them special. Everyone's going to go there now. Isn't that cute?